My name is Troy Burkhart with Smokeaholics. I'm from Hayes, Kansas. My partner is Ryan Blankenship from Wichita, Kansas. We do about 15 to 18 contests a year. And we made it here through the Overland Park show. Uh, hopefully make it to Bentonville. The pit that we have here, we built. Um, my partner and I designed it. It's an upright cooker based off of like a stump. Uh, we did drawers instead of doors and the drawers seal off in the back so when you're opened up it's closed so you can work on your meat and not lose any heat. It's got a uh, convection oven built into it with a fan that rotates the smoke through it. We do <clears throat> on the back it's gravity feed so you load everything from the top chute. We do lump wood. Lump wood. Lump wood. Okay. Uh, What's your wood of choice? Cherry and hickory, mostly hickory on brisket, but. How much you got in it? How much? Yeah. Uh, it weighs about 1,100 pounds, but uh, we build and sell the smaller version of this. I have, you do retail it. Yeah. The smaller version sells for 3200 This one here would be somewhere probably around five. How much meat? Uh, it'll hold about 700 pounds almost. This one or the small one? This one. The small one holds about 400. What one? How do they check out the, Check out the wheels. <laughs> the, I, I actually build uh, street rods for a living and build custom cars. And so all the metal work we did in my shop, um, the wheels came off of a 55 Bel Air that I had built in about four years ago. We retrofitted it with bigger wheels and tires and brakes. And so I had these just sitting around and thought they'd look good on my cooker. <laughs> um, yeah, exhibitcustoms.com. It's the shop name. We don't have anything for Smokeaholics, but it's on uh, Facebook at uh, Smokeaholics. Objectively and subjectively evaluate. Objectively and subjectively evaluate. Which part do you read? Which part do you read? That's presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my view. For an official Sam's National Barbecue Series Regional Championship judge. Very good. For the crew. Justice. Justice. Excellent Jim Barbecue. Excellent Jim Barbecue. And the Magnolia Line. And the Magnolia Line. Number Stanton. And Preserve the Line. And Preserve the Line. And Preserve the Line. And Preserve the Line. Karen, which one? She uh, don't one. know. Pick that one. one there. This one? Yeah, that one there. No, not that one. That one, I said this that one. one. That one or that one? This one? That was nice and pretty, yeah. Okay, I liked number two the best because I liked the mahogany color that it had on it with very little sauce and it had a good smoke flavor. Number five, I probably liked the least because although it was tender and juicy, it just really tasted kind of plain, didn't have a lot of flavor to it. So 
uh, my least favorite was number one. It was uh, uh, tough and dry and had a little overpowering on the sauce. I didn't really taste the chicken. My favorite was number five because it was uh, very tender, juicy, and had a really good flavor to it. Just overall a good piece of chicken. My favorite uh, in appearance was number six. I liked the way they did the uh, white and dark meat combo. I enjoyed the taste of number six as well. I liked smoked taste. It was juicy. I least uh, enjoyed number five. It was My piece was tough, and there was a little more heat there, than, um, do and it dominated the taste of the chicken. Hi. My... Uh favorite entry was number six. I liked the taste. Um, had a good presentation in the uh, box with the white and dark meat. My least favorite was number five. Um, the skin fell right off as I bit through it and uh, the taste just wasn't there for me. My favorite was number six. It was well balanced and it had good flavor and one overdone. My least favorite was number two. It was dried out. Yep. Well, most of the pieces were fairly good. Uh, number one was a little oversauced uh, across the board. Most of them probably could have done a better job of setting the glaze. Uh, numbers two through five, or two through four, were pretty much even. The rest of them were all pretty close. They just needed a little bit better tenderness, and like I said, the sauce was needed to be set a little bit more. All of them were extremely good in taste. Uh, and my particular one that I gave the highest scores to was the first one. It seemed to be the most all around, but a lot of the rest of them were a little overcooked. Um, as far as taste goes, it's hard to not give a lot of them nines. My least favorite was number three. Uh, it fell off the bone. It was overcooked and just didn't have a lot of flavor to it. Uh, my favorite ones were number five and six. Five, the, dun the uh, tenderness was pretty much spot on. Uh, flavor, could have used a little more flavor. Number six, I, I really liked the flavor. Uh, it was my favorite one, the taste-wise, but it just was just a little bit uh, on the tenderness was just a little off. Other than that, I think it was a really good uh, six entries, uh, just a little bit on the tenderness. Uh, on most of them. I, uh, I scored all of these uh, really in the, the top two scores you could give them. They were excellent, all of them. My favorites were three and six. They had um, a nice amount of um, kind of taste to them and then a little heat at the end, which I, I particularly like. Uh, number six had, a, had an unusual but wonderful uh, flavor. I found actually three to be almost uh, perfect in the tenderness. My least favorite was number four. I found it, uh, although excellent, I mean very good maybe, um, it was just a tad maybe dry, we'll call it. All of them today were very, very good. With the, uh, My least favorite today was number two. It had a little bit of a taste of cinnamon or clove in it that I didn't think went with ribs. Uh, rib number four I thought was cooked very perfect. Uh, it had just a little bit of tug when you pulled away, pull the meat away from the bone. The bone turned white immediately and I thought was all around a perfect rib. All eight ribs were uh, pretty good today. Uh, number one was my favorite. It pulled away cleanly from the bone. It had a very nice flavor, and it had a very good texture. My least favorite was number six. It had some sort of a flavor in it that uh, I found a little bit off-putting. I couldn't quite identify what it was. It, uh, it was overcooked and was mushy.
My favorites were the first two and number four. I thought they were all cooked well. They had a nice flavor profile. Probably my least favorite was number five. It was overcooked. Not terribly overcooked, but just slightly mushy. And I didn't think it had a, a, as good a flavor as the others. Okay, uh, my favorite was probably number one, and my uh, least favorite was probably number three. The reason I like number one was because uh, I guess I'm an old school barbecuer that uh, likes it to be a little bit burned and it's not totally uniform all the way through. Uh, the, it, at this level, it's tough to tell because all these guys are above average in everything we're getting. Uh, Three, uh, when you try to pull it apart, it's a little tough to pull apart. Uh, my favorite were uh, five and six, and my least favorite was number three. Five and six just had that pretty mahogany red color that we looked for, had the moisture, had the sweet, the heat. Number three, just need a little bit more time on the smoker and, you know, a few more ingredients to kick it up to the caliber of five and six. My favorite would have been number one. The bark on number one, I think, has been mentioned before, but it looks like it comes off an, of an oak tree. And I don't. that's just my style that I like. It's cooked. It's got the... Uh, right amount of smoke and right amount of flavoring and spices in it. it's all balanced out my least favorite was number two number two it starts off when you open the box and they put a big mound of gray matter in there on top of some lettuce it the appearance with a lot of people runs it down but then when you get into eating it anytime you shred it and throw a big mound in there like that it's 
cold and it's soggy and it's mushy and it just ends up being bad all the way around. My favorite was uh, number six. I thought the overall flavor profile, uh, everything from the sweet, the heat, and uh, tenderness of it uh, was top notch. Uh, my least favorite was number two. Uh, just the overall flavor uh, lacked, and then the appearance uh, in the box just wasn't very appealing as well. My favorite was number one. It had a good smoke flavor to it, a good flavor profile. It was uh, tender without being overcooked. Uh, my least favorite was number three. Uh, it was overcooked. It didn't have a lot of smoke flavor, hardly any, and uh, it just didn't have a good flavor profile overall. Uh, my favorite was uh, number one. It, it really, really tasted good. And uh, my least favorite was number six. Mine, mine was tough. And, uh, but they were overall, they were all good. Brisket, wow, what an event. Um, it takes the longest, it's the hardest to cook, and by the looks of uh, what we have here, we have everything from uh, what I would consider a perfectly cooked brisket to the almost falling apart, uh, overcooked, uh, dried uh, out type of brisket. Um, the flavors are uh, all pretty good uh, across the board, but um, Man, uh, there was one that uh, stood out exceptionally uh, overall. So, um, which was your favorite? Uh, of course, my favorite was uh, number two, um, as uh, it was uh, the most balanced and uh, cooked well. Um, and um, then, of course, you get into uh, the others. Uh, there's just differences uh, between the meat themselves. Uh, you can tell the thicker you cut it. Uh, you're, you're trying to hold it together, um, you know, cut it, cut it thick because, uh, you know, it's overdone, cut it thin to win is what I've always heard. So uh, my least favorite uh, was uh, kind of a toss up between uh, three and four. Um, they're uh, really overdone and um, have a uh, pit flavor that uh, that's not uh, it's an it's an objectionable smoke flavor. Um, it's over overdone. Uh, you get you get into that um, product where uh, it's caramelized, and uh, you can't. Um, there's just something. It's almost burnt tasting uh, to your mouth. So. Okay. 
Well, our first, our first uh, analyst, I think, covered everything extremely well. Uh, my uh, observations were similar to his. I think that there were uh, a couple of the uh, the briskets that I liked, uh, number two, and uh, also uh, probably number uh, number five. Uh, for my palate, uh, number five was uh, cut a little thicker, uh, but I thought the flavor and the tenderness overall was uh, was very good and exceptional. Um, my favorite was probably number two. Uh, I think it had the right tenderness for me. I think that also that it's the right the right taste. Uh, the combination of both was really well. Also. Um, I think three and four are probably the kind of dry. I, I like uh, Chad saying the, the the tenderness probably wasn't there and probably over caramelized a little bit, but overall great event today.